Groundbreaking medical news, a new study finds older women have a much higher risk of developing Alzheimer's disease than breast cancer. News Channel 9's Micaiah Thurman spoke with a local specialist about what these new findings may mean. Micaiah. Chattanooga's Alzheimer's Association is in Nashville right now to raise awareness about the disease. But here at home, those new findings are inspiring more groups to begin testing for memory loss. Rhonda Atkins has worked in hospice care with Alzheimer's patients for 11 years, but she never thought the disease would hit so close to home. Right away I started to see the signs where we'd go to the grocery store and she'd buy bananas. We'd go two days later and she'd buy bananas, and we had bananas all over her apartment. Atkins says she began to notice signs of her 83-year-old mother's memory loss just after her father died. Uh, she lived about 60 miles away and I started to go once a week to help her, then it was twice a week, then three times a week, then four times a week until I knew that it was starting to feel like my end of life. At the time, Atkins was working as an aide in an adult home, not thinking her work would become her life. I think I was in some denial. You know, I didn't want to really think that my mom had Alzheimer's, so I kind of would cover up with the neighbors and the family, and eventually I had to take her car away, which was very emotional for her, and I cried. After her mother's diagnosis, Atkins became more involved in research, working just next door to the Alzheimer's Association. Today, that organization released new data saying women over 60 have a one in six chance of getting Alzheimer's in their lifetime. Well, I'm going to be 66 myself soon, and it's, you know, kind of a hereditary disease, too. While the numbers are concerning, local care centers are offering memory screening in hopes of early detection. Very important. We all know that through research, early identification is key. Specialists working at the care center tell us they aren't all that surprised by those numbers. To me, no. No, I don't know if we just haven't been identifying them before or that we just have better diagnostic tools. With Alzheimer's more common amongst women than breast cancer, Atkins says one thing remains to be the most important. Advocacy, you know, speaking for the Alzheimer's patients and awareness for them. Doctors who treat Alzheimer's say more money and awareness can change that commonness. They are competing with other diseases for dwindling research funds, hoping to make their case for more money to find a cure. Meantime, if you or a loved one would like to participate in that free memory testing, you're invited to come out to the Life Care Center in Hickson from 3 to 4 p.m. tomorrow afternoon.